Salutations, it's your old pal Revenge Creature, and welcome to a figure review slash um, haul video. First, I'm going to show a few of the items I've picked up recently, and then I want to go ahead and uh, jump into the meat of this video, which is a figure review I think a few of you have been anxiously awaiting. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. Uh, the first item I'd like to show is a boxed uh, Coleco Rambo uh, weapon accessory. Um, this uh, price tag is from a place called Hills, and this looks like it was on clearance for 48 cents, uh, which is insane because that just seems super cheap even for the 80s. Um, the box has uh, got a little, you know, it's a little worn, but uh, overall it's in really good shape. And um, this is just an accessory you can use for the good guys or the bad guys. Um, and uh, pretty cool accessory. And these things um, are a little bit big. It's uh, for, yeah, that's what I thought. The figures of Rambo, you know, they were like uh, about close to six inches maybe. Um, so this is a cool accessory that maybe uh, in the future you might see uh, one of the six inch Joes sitting on. You never know. But uh, I just want to show the box off in pretty good shape. You know, like I said, it's got a little little funky here and there, but overall pretty good shape. Uh, great box art too. I mean, you know, got the helicopter crashing in the background, the reinforcements. So pretty darn cool. Uh, the next item I want to show, uh, which I think I might have already shown, which is my uh, Cara Dune. Yeah, I think I've already shown this. Still I've got around to opening her, uh, but I will. <laughs> Um, next up, uh, this is a really cool, this was a, whoops, <laughs> this is a really cool gift from Rachel's dad that's just a little fun book, uh, Test Your Cat's IQ, and as obviously as many of you know, I do have, uh, my own little personal army of cats, and, uh, this was a fun, whoops, you know, technical, uh, bloopers aside, let's just set that back down, whoa, um, it's a pretty cute book, pretty cute little, uh, thing where, you know, you can, like, um, basically play games and well if it wants to focus here uh, and it doesn't <laughs> there we go uh, nope okay sorry sorry for wasting your time on that it would not focus but it's just literally like what it says is like different things that you know you can tell what kind of cat personality and and things like that uh, really cute books uh, cute book uh, next up is from the 2001 uh, a real American hero collection it is Cobra Commander and Chameleon, which, you know, um, is just bareness with red uh, red highlights uh, on her costume. Um, I don't know if that I'll pick that up. Yeah, it will. A little bit. Um, and then Cobra Commander is in like a blue. And that's hard to tell, really. But uh, blue and silver. Um, and uh, it's the talking Cobra Commander mold, which they reused several times during... Um, this era um, so uh, not a bad mold uh, it's the one that they used for battle core also actually I just really dig it to be honest with you um, cool accessories with these guys uh, probably not gonna open this at this point um, I don't have any other uh, figures on the card from this uh, era of the Joes and I'm trying to at least get one packaged uh, item from every toy line that bears the G.I. Joe logo um, although uh, getting something from the original toy line is going to be a little steep. A couple other cute little things here that are outside my norm. Well, no, if you've watched my videos, you know some of this stuff. Um, this is I got this baggie full of uh, little people uh, vehicles, little ride-ons for the kids, I guess. Um, the, the, there's like a wa couple of wagons. Uh, this is actually a, supposed to be a car, I believe, yeah. It's not going to focus very well, I don't think. It's fun to focus on the background. But anywho, um, and that's pretty cool. A little horse and just a couple of pull on wagons. And what was this, like a dollar, 50 cents? 50 cents, yeah, 50 cents at the flea market um, for these vintage Fisher Price um, toys or accessories. Um, and then the last item I want to show before we get into the figure part is uh, whoa, <laughs> uh, I got this random Nylant trailer. Um, it was a die cast company. Um, why in the heck this thing doesn't want to focus once I start going? I don't know. Anywho, whoa, it's very loud, as you can tell. Um, but anywho, uh, that, uh, dang, <laughs> that, uh, 
there's not enough room for it to set on the edge there. Anyway, it's a pretty cool little metal trailer, you know, it was a farm pulled behind uh, tractors and things, a farm accessory toy. But uh, growing up out in the country, uh, you know, um, I got respect for that lifestyle. And I, um, I had a toy tractor as a kid, and this is just a kind of cool thing. It was cheap, and um, uh, it was in good shape, so that's why I picked this up. Now, <clears throat> finally, the reason I'm shooting this video is because we are going to be looking at Destro. That's right, the Funko Pop. No, I'm just kidding. The 25th anniversary. Just kidding. We're going to be looking at Vintage Destro? Nope. No, no, no. We're going to be looking at the Classified Destro. And I'm going to put this white background here behind him. And maybe that will help focus on him and not the background. No, it's not. Doggone it. Um, there he is, guys. Um, out of the package. Um, and looking just great. Um, I think this is probably my favorite figure of the line next to, um, Scarlet, and that's just, uh, you know, I got my reasons. <laughs> but, um, he looks great. You can see, um, this is the original, uh, Destro from the 80s. Uh, same head, you know, silver. They've got the collars the same, the necklace, the gauntlets, the red, uh, belt, uh, around the leg with the, the pistol. Um, you've got wrist rockets on here, and then this Destro also has wrist rockets. Uh, he doesn't have their grenades. Um, the uh, original uh, figure has th uh, three grenades, and the 25th anniversary uh, version also has the wrist rockets and the three grenades. So I was kind of surprised to see he doesn't have the grenades, but that's okay. Um, he's got great articulation, comes with this cool pistol. He's got the side sidearm here that's gold. Um, a briefcase, it's got the Cobra logo, it opens up and uh, has like uh, money, like, uh, and then here's his money case when it's opened. You see there's a, they've kind of got some pretend money molded in there and then this is a, like detailing like it's some kind of a laptop computer, but that's really cool too, nice accessory. Got a cool glossy Cobra symbol. Paint's not the greatest on there, <laughs> but, um, you know, he, he has all this, the, the right cues, from his original figure, um, and I think it's a great translation. And uh, you know, just uh, there's a pretty good shot of him. I think it's it's kind of halfway in focus, um, but uh, just amazing. I love this guy. Um, I'm so glad they finally came around and started making six inch Joes. Um, as you know, we've seen a few reveals lately, and one of them is the uh, what they're calling Prophet uh, Director Destro. But uh, we actually know him as Pimp Daddy Destro, based on an early concept prototype back in the 90s that never came out. Um, so that's an odd use of a slot um, this early in the line. But um, if you've seen the pictures, he's just too wild not to love. So I did go ahead and pre-order him. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the Red Ninja. I think it's kind of over-stylized. Also, a couple other complaints I have. Um, not uh, sure what uh, Scarlet's backpack. Um, she has a slot like you could put something in there, but the only thing that fits in there are the knives, and that kind of looks weird. So I'm not sure what's up with that. And uh, just some of the accessory choices weren't the greatest. Um, but I don't have any real complaints with the figures, their looks, or anything. I think they're really awesome. I'm very glad that Joe's back in a big way. Um, I'm tired of getting stuff like this. Um, although this is a cute, you know, who can resist a cute Destro with a big chrome head like that. But, uh, I'm glad we're back to this stuff. And we've still got the retro line to look forward to that hasn't been revealed yet. Um, that's probably going to be revealed this Friday. The Fan First Fridays, they're calling it. Um, so, there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, quick look. This isn't really any kind of professional review. I just wanted to show them off a little bit. Let you guys know that if uh, you haven't ch had a chance to pick him up yet, do so. He's quite awesome. And I can't wait uh, to see where this line goes. Um, thanks for watching. Be sure to leave me a comment below if you've got Destro. What do you think of him or if you're still looking forward to him? Uh, we've got a lot of uh, good stuff coming up in the future here with the video content. So hope you uh, subscribe. Uh, share this video around uh, your favorite toy collecting groups. And we'll see you on the next one. Asquinoxo.